All right, well, my Twitch is figuring out what it's doing. I'm going to grab my phone charger, so I'll be right back. looks good so my next stream is going to be me just like lounging by the pool um, but I wanted to do a little bit of like simple makeup before I do that so first things first I'm going to grab because I don't need my makeup to last that long it's already like 4 30 um, in the afternoon so I'm going to grab one of my little samples I have of my Smashbox primer just prime my face with this that was a lot of primer that's okay And put this all over my face. I already did my skincare this morning. Just putting this primer all over my face. Just gonna keep it pretty simple here. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of foundation. I'm gonna go in with my Neoma foundation and a wet beauty blender. This is also good because it's going to protect my face from the sun when I am laying out in the sun. So I'm like, well, I have so much makeup on. The sun can't get to me through here. <laughs> so kind of dual purpose. I'm just patting this foundation into my face. Just as a nice little layer of protection between me and the sun for my face. If I like to tan my body, I don't like to tan my face. I feel like I got too much foundation here. I'll just keep rubbing it into my face. Make sure it's all nice and blended. Just make sure that I carry it down onto my neck as well. Just so that it looks nice and blended. All right. That looks pretty good. So since I don't need my makeup to last that long, I'm not going to set it like after this, which I normally would do. So I'm just going to go straight into my powders. I'm just trying to blend in all this foundation. I feel like I grabbed too much of it, but I'm going to go in with some powders here again just like add that extra layer of like protection between my face and the sun um, when i go out there so i'm going to grab my puff i thought i lost this i had already grabbed it <laughs> so i'm going to grab my Essence Stay Matte Fixing Powder Compact with a little Laura Mercier puff and just pick up that product on the puff and then just put it all over my face to take away any of that, that shine on my face. And I really like it because I feel like you can instantly see like the difference that there's, there's no shine on one side of my face. It's pretty nice. All right, that looks nice and matte there. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. So I'm going to move on to more powders. I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal powder and let me just put a layer of this all over my face, drag it down onto my neck a little bit. And just make sure I'm getting everywhere on my face. 
This foundation claimed for the last 24 hours. Um, I don't use it as it's intended. Like you're supposed to use this instead of like the liquid foundation that I use. Um, so I don't think it lasts 24 hours, but I like that they have a bold enough claim to think that it would last 24 hours. Also, I'm not sure what anyone would be doing where they would be wearing their makeup for 24 hours. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer here. I'm not quite sure how much stuff I wanna do to my face. I feel like I'm kind of doing a little bit more than I need, but that's okay. I'm just going and bronze up my face a little bit here just to bring some definition to my cheeks a little bit. This is the Physician's Formula Matte Bronzer, Mishade Bronzer. <laughs> um, and I really like it. It just, I think gets a little bit lost when I put blush on, as does like my NARS bronzer. Just when I put blush on, for some reason, the bronzer gets a bit lost. Um, so I'm trying to go in pretty heavily with my bronzer here. Just do a little bit of the forehead as well, just to kind of shape that out. A little bit under the chin. Do the other side of my chin, but I like the way that, I don't like this cheek as much, but like this cheek always, always looks good. It just, I feel like this brush, using this like not traditional like bronzer brush, I do feel like it gives like kind of like a nicer, more more airbrush look because this is like technically a highlighter brush. So I'm not gonna go in with a little bit of blush. Um, I <laughs> I broke my favorite blush brush. I just need to glue this segment back in. Um, I guess I could use just the half that remains. Um, I need to glue in the other half because it broke. So I guess we'll try it with just this one half. <laughs> Hopefully I don't break out this remaining half. I'm just gonna grab some of this little NARS blush here. Just put a little bit on my cheeks just to, to brighten everything up. Here as well. I feel like the first couple times that I used this blush on stream, it was like a big crisis and I'm like, whoa, this is way too much blush. This is too much. And I don't know, now I feel like maybe I, I press lightly or I grab less product or I don't know, but now it's it's been kind of a, a better application since then. Like the first couple times I used this, I'm like, I don't know about this product for me. So, all right, my little my little half brush worked out decent here. You seem to glue in. <laughs> you glue in the other half. I'll probably do that after after this before I before I start streaming by the pool. So finally, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Ofra highlighter here and just. Highlight a little bit of my face. Again, I probably don't need to do all this because I'm just gonna like lay out by the pool and get sweaty, but hey, you know, then I look, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit better when I'm out there sweating. <laughs> we'll see how hot it still is out. It, it feels warm because I've been cooking, but I don't think it's actually that warm out. Let me see. Oh, it's 82 where I'm at. Okay, so <laughs> it's still pretty warm. It's still pretty warm. So I'm gonna do a little bit for my eyes here. So I'm gonna go in with my lash curler and curl my lashes here just a bit. Curl them on the other side. I saw this like TikTok um, or it was like a Facebook reel, I don't remember which one. Um, but someone's like, oh, when you realize you wasted money on a lash lift, cause there's, there's like, a, I don't know, I wouldn't call it like a procedure, but there's like a beauty thing you can do that like is a perm for your eyelashes basically. And it makes them like stick up more um, and they can like add color to it. So it just looks like you have like mascara on, like you just wake up with mascara. Um, I feel like it's like a nice alternative. Like if you want to have like nicer like lashes, just wake up with them. Um, and someone was like, oh, when you realize you wasted money on a lash perm and it's like them curling their lashes. And I'm like, well, I guess that's kind of true. I've only gotten a lash perm once and like, I really liked it because like you just kind of wake up and you look like you already put mascara on. 
Um, but it only lasts for a little while, so it's hard because you're like, oh, okay, now it's been a couple weeks, and that was like $100, now it's gone. <laughs> so I just stick to curling my lashes every day. But I did like it the time I did get a lash perm, but I don't think you need one. I think you just curl your lashes every day for the same effect. I'm going to go in here with a little bit of my Pacifica Vegan Collagen Primer. I wonder if I'm starting to run out of this. I probably should... When I do my makeup for work tomorrow, I probably should look at myself closer in a mirror and see if there's even like still product coming out of this. I am going to try my, oh, I forgot to do eyeliner on my eyes. Oh, well, we'll skip that. Um, I'm gonna use a new mascara here. So this is, I used to have this one full size. I got this when um, Kat Von D first launched um at the makeup store I was working at so I like got kind of interested in this mascara I don't know why um I haven't used it in a while so it is the KVD uh, I think it's called go big or go home mascara so I've recently rebought it and we're gonna retry it here and see how we like it I like it because it dries down like fairly quickly um so it's great if you're gonna put on false eyelashes or you just don't have time to like wait around for your eyelashes to be drying. Sometimes you have to sneeze or whatever. Um, I guess I can't think of a lot of reasons why you want your mascara to dry faster besides like false lashes, but I do like it because I feel like it dries pretty quickly. So that's kind of what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Just do a little bit of my lower lash line here with it. Pretty good. I do, of course, always get like the travel size of mascaras just because it's like the full size dry out more quickly and travel size works. It's like the same brush that you would get like with the full size. It's just on like a smaller little stick. But I am trying to go in and do like the new little hack that I learned to put on mascara where you put it on with the tip first and then you brush it out. Oh, I just stab myself in the eye with that. Um, and it just helps put on product faster. But pretty happy with this mascara. I like forgot how much I liked it until right now when I'm putting it on. But I do like it, I think it looks nice. So I like it, I'm just gonna go in and do my, my lower lashes here a little bit. I'm a big lower lash fan. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to add in a little bit of eyebrows for myself here. So I'm going to take my Morphe pencil and I'm going to draw in some eyebrows for myself. I feel like for some reason my lashes are kind of clumpy, but I think that's just what they look like. I'm going to draw in. A little bit more eyebrow for myself here. Try to get them to look somewhat similar. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now over to this side. I'm not the best at doing my eyebrows, but I try to do what I can just to put some on my face. <laughs> I feel like I can really see my mascara today because I didn't do eyeliner and I normally do eyeliner every day. So maybe that's why this mascara looks like this. I'll have to see, I'll have to use it again tomorrow um, and do eyeliner and see if I still really like it. I think I do, but we'll have to see. All right. I think those are decently drawn on there. So now I'm going to go in with the little matching Morphe pomade and I'm gonna just with a heavier hand towards the middle and the tail of my brow, just fill them in with that pomade and towards the front, just with more of a lighter, more of a lighter hand. So 
it looks a little bit softer and less less harsh. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna take my little Anastasia brush with the little spoolie on the end. I'm just gonna kind of feather out the front of my brows here. And I'm gonna go in with my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. Just gel everything into place that I just drew in here. And then just wipe the brush off a little bit just because I like to keep the brow gel clear. And we're gonna finish with a little bit of setting spray. I'm gonna go in with my my little NYX setting spray. Just so that this is almost done. So probably by the end of the week, I will be moving to the big jumbo, the big jumbo NYX spray that I've got. So I'm gonna just grab my fan and just dry this down a little bit onto my face. And I'm gonna do a little bit of lipstick here. If I could find one. Let's try something different than what I than what I normally do. Alright, I feel like I put a lot of setting spray on my face. I gotta keep keep drying this down here. Otherwise I'm gonna smudge my face everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna call that decently good here. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my little MAC Prep and Prime. And I'm gonna just put this on. This is essentially just a chapstick, but and for some reason pay $20 for this little tube of it. So it's supposed to help like keep your lipstick on longer. I'm gonna go in here with my Stila. This is Portofino liquid lipstick. I don't like this one because I, I think this is the one, it's very similar to my natural lip color. Yeah, this is the one. So, it's okay, like I like the brush and I like the formula, but I don't love the color. It looks just like my lip color. So it's like, why did I even put on lipstick? Like I could have just left my lips as is. But this does dry down nice and that. All right, just touch this up, smile, see what it looks like. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so that's gonna dry down a little bit and it'll be nice and matte shortly. If not, a little trick you can do is you can like put uh, like toilet paper or like tissue paper like over your lips and then you could just go in with like your setting powder um, or just some sort of like light color powder and it will like your like translucent powder and it will like dry down like any lipstick to like more of a matte lipstick. But this one's gonna dry down very matte. So the swimsuit I'm gonna wear my next stream, it's gonna be like Pink. So I'm going to use my, I mean, this is the only clip I have, but I'm going to do like a little matching flower clip here. So I'm just going to try to take all my hair so it looks kind of nice and I have it all. I'm going to try to tie this up a little bit higher in case I want to lay down. And I do want to take couple of hairs out here. Some are a little bit longer, just a little something here. I should have grabbed more of these center pieces. Okay, I'll put some of these back. Okay. No, oh, I'm grabbing too much hair. Okay. That looks pretty decent. I'm going to take my little flower clip from Shein and I'm going to just start twisting my hair here 
this is like probably not like the right way to do this, but this is the way I've been doing it for my hair for the past couple of days and it seems to be working out okay, so I'm gonna do it again today. All right, now that I got this whole thing like twisted here, I'm gonna just grab, grab it all with my big like claw clip and then I got, got the little, the little flower in place, so match my outfit nicely. So. I just have a little bit of makeup going, just a little something to protect my face from, <laughs> from the sun, I guess, once I get out there. But my next stream, I'm going to be poolside, just kind of like lounging and hanging out, maybe getting a little bit of a tan. We'll see. Um, so I will see you all in the next one. But let me take you all outside then we can see what this looks like in more, more natural lighting. Why don't we? I felt like that worked out good yesterday. All right, just I feel like nice, pretty natural. I did skip the eyeliner today and I kind of like it. I kind of like that I skipped it, so pretty decent, but I will see you all uh, in the next stream hanging out poolside. Bye.